Hello friends, welcome to Microsoft Webcast and in today's video demonstration, we are going to see how to enable remote desktop in Windows Server 2012 R2. In Windows operating system, we have a feature named remote desktop that allows you to take control of the console of another computer over a LAN and in configured enterprise over a WAN. The remote desktop features allows you to use all the remote computer's programs, files and network resources as if you were sitting right on the computer itself. To access a remote computer via remote desktop, you must have the administrative rights of the remote computer or you must be a member of remote desktop users group and the remote desktop features on the computer must be enabled. Remote desktop protocol works on TCP port number 3389. You can change it by modifying certain resistor entries. To enable the remote desktop features on the target computer, you must have to follow certain steps to do that. And for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm using this Windows Server 2012 R2 Data Center Evolution Edition VM. And on that, open Server Manager, then click on Local Server. On the Local Server Properties, you can see the Remote Desktop feature is currently disabled. So click on it. And let's select Allow Remote Connection to this computer. Select this radio button. This will also create our uh, Remote Desktop Firewall exception. Click on OK to create that. Now here we have this box by default selected. Allow connections only from the computer running remote desktop with network level authentication. That means computers earlier than Windows XP Service Pack 3 are not able to take a remote desktop of this computer. Now click on select users. Now as you are seeing our administrator already has access to take a remote desktop of this computer. If you want to add another user that time you can uh, select it from here. Click on add and then browse your user and add that. So click on cancel and click on ok. Click on apply to enable the remote desktop feature on this computer and click on ok. Now let's open the firewall. Type firewall.cpl command and this will open windows firewall. As you are seeing we are currently connected with guest or public network profile. Ok. Now click on allow an app of features through windows firewall and find remote desktops entry here we have a remote desktop entry and for private profile it is uh, added as exception for public profile it is not added so let's select the checkbox and that means now we have added the exception for remote desktop protocol for both private and public profile click on ok click on advanced settings and under that click on inbound rules and find entry for remote desktop Okay, here's the entry for remote desktop and uh, click on protocol and ports and here as you can see the protocol type is TCP and the local port will be used is 3389. Click on OK and click on OK and click on close to close the firewall console. Now the IP address of this our computer is 192.168.0.5 and for the testing purpose I have another VM that is running on uh, Windows 10 Enterprise Evolution Edition and uh, let's check the IP configuration of this computer and type ipconfig as you are seeing the IP address of this computer is 192.168.0.10 and let's take a remote desktop of our Windows Server 2012 R2 computer type mstsc and hit enter this will open remote desktop connection application here you have to specify the IP address of the remote computer and in our case it will be 192.168.0.5. Now click on connect. This will ask for enter your credential. So let's specify the credential of the, our user administrator and the password of our user administrator. Click on OK. Now there will be a certificate error. The following error were encountered while validating the remote computer's certificate. The certificate is not from a trusted certificate authority because the certificate is self-signed certificate. Click on yes to accept it. And that's it. Now we successfully connected with our Windows Server 2012 Arduino computer by using RDP. You can also minimize it and let's run the command net state hyphen and and as you as you can see we connected with tcp protocol and this is the local ip address and local port of our computer and this is the remote computer ip address that is the ip address of our windows server 2012 r2 and this is the port number 
So as you can see, the session is currently established. So this is the way how we can enable a remote desktop in Windows Server 2012 R2. And after that, we can take a remote desktop from our LAN computer. So that's it for this video demonstrations. Thanks for watching this video.